in my last video I showed you how to call on to the um, WordPress list comments function and uh, display your comment and as you can see we have it right here at the bottom in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, customize this area right here and add some uh, bootstrap uh, styling to uh, some of these elements let's go ahead and get started I have here my functions.php open and I also have my comments.php open and the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna just add a, a simple first I'm just gonna get some space here going. Alright. I'm gonna call this a bootstrap comment template. And it's gonna be in the form of a function. And the, this function is gonna be a callback and I'll show you what that means later, but I'm going to have a real long, um, oops, I'm going to have a really long name for this one so that you can, uh, kind of understand what, what it is, but see, it's going to go like that. And, um, it's going to take a few parameters. First one being comment, which is the actual comment, uh, args. And I'll explain that a little more later. Oops. And depth. And that is the depth of uh, how many comments for like nesting and stuff. Um, we need to access the global variable or the global array. Uh, and we want to set this equal to comment. Let's see. And then now we'll start adding our HTML. Um, rather than doing something like this, echo div, uh, I'm just going to close out the PHP, like so. And then down here at the bottom, right at the end, I'm just going to open it back up. And um, this is because uh, now you can see when I type stuff like div, it'll be the regular HTML tag, and it's just a better way to make it a little more readable. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start with the div, and then I'll open it up. And I'm going to use the uh, the Bootstrap media component or media CSS component, and um, you'll see what it looks like in a minute. Uh, what it needs is an anchor tag, and inside of that, oh, what did I just do? And inside of that is where we're going to put our avatar, and I'll go ahead and put PHP uh, echo git underscore avatar. And um, for now, we'll just empty this out. We'll modify it a little bit later. And um, the media component needs a body, and that's going to be class of media body. Uh, I think it's media dash body. And let's see, inside of that, you need an H5 with the class of media heading. And um, Why don't we put PHP um, echo get underscore comment underscore author? Oh, I spelled that wrong, I wonder. And that should be good enough. Um, down here, we'll want our actual comment text, so I'll just put it. PHP um, comment text. I can't spell today. And I think I'll go ahead and stop right there and save it so that we can preview it. Uh, before we preview it, though, uh, we have to do one thing. 
over here in our comments.php file, we call it on this list comments function. And <clears throat> in order to call the callback function we just made, uh, we have to pass in a few. Um, well, actually, we have to pass in one one argument. Let's see. All right. It's going to be in the form of an array. And I'll just close that out. Select that. And the first one we have to put in is type. And we're going to have to set that to uh, comment. And put a comma. And then down here, we'll, um, we'll fill out the callback argument. And what we're going to give it is the same name as the uh, function that we just created. So it was, uh, I believe it was comments underscore b underscore template underscore callback. And that should be good. Let me save it. And I'll just check and make sure that the name is correct. Comments b template callback. I think so, but I'll, just in case. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to save it and switch back to my browser. And when I refresh, uh, the structure of this should change a little bit, and a few things might even go away, such as the time and the uh, reply link, because I don't think we put that. Okay, so so far we're getting there. Um, this is the media heading, so I think I may have missed something here, but it's supposed to float to the right. I'll check on that in a minute, it's no problem. Let me just switch back to uh, my code, and then I'll go back to functions.php. And let me check, take a look at this. Um, oh, I'm supposed to float this to the left. Let's save it. Switch back. And there we go. Now we're getting there. Uh, we're missing a few things, though. We don't have um, the reply link, and we're going to need that. Also, we'll probably want to uh, link this avatar. Or actually, it is. Well, I, no, it's empty. We'll want to link this avatar to uh, the actual commenters page, and we'll do the same thing for the name. 